Hello and welcome to the YouTube channel D Creations Resources. We are looking at multiple choice questions from physics and maths. Let us look at a question from nuclear physics and it is pertaining to radioactivity, radioactive decay especially. We have already tackled some questions about radioactivity. If you wish to see them, you can watch the previous episodes. In this particular question, we have been asked that in natural radioactive decay, which of the following emissions has highest ionization power? Now in natural radioactive decay, the common emissions that we have are alpha particles, beta particles and gamma rays. And you need to check which one of them has highest ionization power. If you know the answer, you can pause the video, mark the answer and then check your answer. If you don't know it, I'll explain it immediately. So what are alpha particles? Alpha particles are basically helium nuclei in the sense that they have pro two protons and two neutrons. Beta particles are like electrons and gamma rays are electromagnetic radiations. Now what exactly is ionization power? Ionization power is the ability of radiation to damage molecules and how do it they damage the molecules well the radiation particle is going to interact with atoms and the atoms will lose electrons due to this interaction and in turn get ionized that is why we say ionizing power now as you would guess it is directly proportional to mass now amongst the three you can notice that if you compare alpha and beta particles Alpha particles are way more massive as compared to beta particles. The fact that it's two protons and two, two neutrons means it's already four times massive as compared to mass of proton. And mass of proton itself is almost 2000 times mass of electron. So mass of proton is almost 2000 times mass of beta particle and mass of alpha particle is four times that that means mass of alpha particles is around 8000 times massive as compared to beta particle so obviously it is going to have the highest ionization power now next you will have a question regarding penetration power so you can check that as well thank you